Hello, welcome to episode 143 of the Epic Film Challenge 2, 1001 Movies You Must See Before You Die, 1967's V. This is a Soviet horror film, and I believe has the distinction of being the first Soviet-era horror film uh, produced. And it's based on a, a short story, I believe, from 1835, written by Nikolai Gogol, uh, again titled V. And it's an interesting film. It's one of those films where I'm kind of like... I'm glad that I'm, I'm being forced to watch films like this that I would have never sought out before, that I would have never heard of before, and um, would ever have watched. Um, I was really intrigued by this film uh, when it started to really get going. It's a very short film, about an hour and ten minutes, something like that. And it sets uh, kind of in, you know, hundreds of years ago, and you have these students who more resemble priests or monks, but they're students and uh, they, they go out for a drink and they're, they're trying to get home one night and they can't find their way back, they get lost in the wilderness and they end up staying over this old woman's house um, and the main character, uh, the philosopher, he um, stays in the barn and as he's trying to get some sleep the old woman comes in and starts hassling him. That's probably the creepiest thing about the whole film to me was that old woman because it's actually played by an old man and there was just something very unnerving and unsettling about it and this old woman jumps on, on the back of his shoulders <laughs> And they go flying around the countryside. I mean, it's mental. And that's when I started to, to realize there was something a bit special uh, to this film uh, once it started to, to get going. Because I feel like even though it's an hour and ten minutes, it kind of drags its feet a little bit. Um, but once it gets to the good stuff, it's really, really cool because the special effects are really, like, they really hold up. I mean, obviously you can tell how they were done and things, but, I mean, for the 60s, um, it, it seems surprisingly modern to me. It seemed to be predating the kind of classic kind of uh, horror creature special effects kind of practical work that would go on to be a huge staple of 80s horror films uh, and I'm not talking gore but just kind of the, the practical effects um, I mean basically th this whole film is building up to the ending which is this big crazy scene in this room with, with all of the, this stuff going on I don't want to spoil too much about it I'm sure that no one is really going to go and seek this film out but either way because I'm not selling it very well but uh, it, the, it's, the film is very much based around these fantastical sequences. Um, anyway, so the the witch kind of takes him on a, a trip around the con the countryside, and you know they're they're flying around. It done very well. Like they had this kind of thing where they obviously had a circle of kind of uh, you know grass and stuff to be the kind of floor moving, but they would spin it in a circle. So it looks like they're they're going forward, but the, you know that you can kind of tell that there's like a spin. It's like nice little things like that where you could see how it was done, but it was still kind of fun, and you go along with it and stuff. Uh, and he's just, you know, creeped out by this old woman. He ends up beating her up, and then suddenly she turns into this young, beautiful woman. And so he he scarpers, and and then he hears later on that this this young girl had crawled back home, half beaten to death, and in her dying words said, "I want that philosopher to come and read scripture at my kind of uh, my my coffin, basically, for three nights." Uh, so he gets forced into this, and he has to go and. And sit there in this room with this this young girl who he beat to death, this witch. There's rumors about her, and he has to kind of read from the Bible and stuff, and, and kind of survive these three nights with this witch alone in this room. And that's really what the film's all building up to is this these sequences over the three nights where he's trying to kind of survive basically the onslaught that this witch is gonna is gonna throw at him and, and kind of uh, you know direct her wrath towards him for what he did what he did to her. Uh, and those those three sequences over those three nights are really fun. They keep escalating, and by the time you get to the third night, the finale of the film, like it's so enjoyable. Like I love the special effects stuff they did. I mean, reverse photography, um, just a very cool uh, imagery. Uh, the ending was a bit abrupt. I didn't like the last scene of the film. It just felt a bit inconsequential. I don't know. Um, and overall, I, I really enjoyed it. This is one I think that's going to be a grower. I'd have to go back to it and watch it again, and I will go back and watch it again, probably around Halloween. Maybe try and show it to Connie, see what she thinks about it. But, you know, it's a, it's a very simple film, but I, I liked how it, it kind of felt like a folktale. Like, it, it, it seemed to fit what it probably would be like in the original short story from the 1800s. Just a very simple story uh, about this guy who you know, uh, gets caught up with this witch and has to kind of face her wrath. And V is this demon that may or may not get summoned uh, to kind of uh, put the final nail in the whole story kind of thing. Um, so, is it a film you'll see before you die? Um, I'm going to say yeah. 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 I'll say it again. I'm going to say yeah. <laughs> um, because it surprised me. Uh, it was not what I was expecting, you know, what, the first 10 minutes of this film I just thought this is going to be such a drag, like it just seemed boring. 
but then it started getting interesting and, and there, there was this, there's this quality to the scenes with the witch that um, just seems to really be special, I don't know. The rest of the film doesn't quite hold up to it, unfortunately, um, but I still think that it's, it's worth merit, and I think that people who do enjoy that kind of 80s, 70s kind of practical horror stuff uh, might really get a kick out of this. And again, it's really short, you know, hour and 10 minutes, so it might be one of those, those films that people could uh, discover and really enjoy. I don't think it's a classic or a masterpiece, anything like that. Um, but I do think it's worth giving a shot, you know, because it's just, you, you need to kind of push yourself out sometimes and just kind of uh, spread your wings when it comes to watching films. And this one very much felt like to me, I was spreading my wings a bit and finding something pretty cool, um, but not too extraordinary. But I think it's definitely worth a watch and I definitely enjoyed it a lot. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.